I'll show you how I made this poster in Photoshop. Start by creating the file I'm using 4x5000 pixels. I'll add this grid layout to help me. Begin by dragging your images and texts into Photoshop and laying them out in an interesting way. You can look for references on Behance, YouTube, or follow along with me. Here it is, the layout looks a bit messy but for the purposes of the video, it will work. Now we add a threshold and holding alt, select between the two layers to apply the effect only to the image below. Convert the image to a smart object and add the noise filter. This effect will generate the halftone between black and white, thus adding more or less detail to the image. The smart object is important in case you want to come back here later. Let's do the same thing with the other image. First, apply the threshold and then add noise. After that, I'll fill the background with solid black. To make things easier, I'll merge my text layers using Ctrl E, making it a smart object afterward. Then, I'll group the layers with the images. Now, I'll merge the text with the background where I want the effect to be applied. Moving on to filters, first blur gallery and then field blur, I'll add two points selectively to blur only parts of the text. A good mix could be one strong burr point with two lighter ones. All right, now I'm going to head over to the filter gallery and pick out the graphic pen option. I could have also used displace for this, but it didn't quite fit the bill. Adding a curve to deepen the black then merging it back with the background. Next, I'll slap on a solid color and tweak the blending mode. You can experiment with a few, but usually darken and multiply do the trick. Let's make some adjustments. Keep in mind what you see on your screen might differ once it's saved. This happens because Photoshop gives you a preview that gets compressed upon export and the noise effect adds loads of tiny particles, typically improving the result, but sometimes throwing surprises. I'll play around with some colors I reckon red might suit this one better.
Now onto those final tweaks. If you're interested, I'll drop a link to these paper textures in the description. I'll layer them on top of the image and see which one fits best. To save the image, we hit export, export as, and there you have it, a peek at how it'll turn out. But feel free to backtrack and tweak the noise intensity if needed. And voila, that's the finished poster. You can find free graphic assets, tutorials, vectors, and more. Check out the video description. I hope you have a great day and goodbye.